we are in Lüneburg. Yep. Did I say it right? Yep, that was pretty good. Ooh, awesome. And this is where Natalie went to university. So we are going to walk around because apparently it's really pretty. We're gonna walk into downtown because this isn't really the pretty area yet. No, this is the lots of bike area. Yeah, which is also pretty. There's bikes <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> so yeah. Yay. Instead of a car park, it's a bike park. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. I can't get over this. Look how many bikes there are. Like, <laughs> like holy crap. Wow. And it's full. Yeah, it's packed. It's in two levels. The second level of bikes up there. This place is. It's like all little apartments. Like you can live here. You can live. And it's not even expensive. Really? Like you can live up there? Up there. Oh, how so cute is that? This is like when I think of Germany or when I thought of Germany. This is like what you think of. Like a building like that. That's pretty awesome. And then there's like a random tower. So why wouldn't there be? Because we're in Europe. And then there's another tower. Oh, this is a mill. What? Oh. What does it say? Hold on. So this is the old water tower. Okay. Mm -hmm. Been used mm. since 1407. <laughs> and sometimes on the buildings they'll have numbers, like there it says 1513 or something. Yeah. Oh and yeah. The year it was built. Holy crap, 1553. Yeah, 1553. Wow! Mm -hmm. And then 1986, I guess it was renovated. That's pretty cool. Lüneburg was first mentioned in official documents in 956 AD. Lüneburg is most well known for its rich salt deposits, which brought wealth to the town. Which is a medieval city. It's pretty rad because a lot of Germany has been bombed within like the world wars and there's not mm -hmm. a ton of really old stuff left but this whole city center is like medieval buildings mm -hmm. and part of that medievalness is this rad wall behind us. So this yeah. is like the original city wall that used to encapsulate the entire city like mm -hmm. in most medieval cities. Yeah and this is pretty much the only part that's still left and it's pretty cool to see how they fixed certain parts of it and rebuilt them so like all the bricks are kind of like yeah. different and patchy. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. And those, there's trees growing out of it now. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's really rad. Mm -hmm. History's cool. It's pretty cool. I'm into it. Most of northern Germany has Protestant churches. This was the first Protestant church I'd ever been into in Europe. It's crazy how similar the Catholic and Protestant churches are. They're all so beautiful. We 
We're about to climb Chalk Mountain. Is that what you said it's called? Mm -hmm. I don't read German. It's back. So it's like a, it's not really a mountain, it's a small hill. A German mountain, I guess. Did you see it? Right there. Northern German mountain. Yeah, Northern German mountain. But we found lots of big trees here. It's gonna be beautiful. What? So remember how I told you that Lüneburg got wealthy um, with uh, salt mines? Yeah. So this is the mountain here, and you can see that this whole thing underneath it's just salt. Wow. So cool. That's a ton. Pretty cool. It's really cool. Look at that oak tree up there. Legend has it that the salt deposit was discovered by a hunter who, after shooting a boar who was bathing in a puddle, discovered salt crystals on its pelt. So close! Are you happy here? Yeah. Mm. So beautiful. Mm -hmm. I never realized like how much I need nature until I've not had it for two days and then I'm like... Oh, <laughs> yeah, no kidding, hey? Eh? That's pretty rad. I'm trying to get up here but I just can't get any farther than this. <laughs> All the yoga almost paying off. Almost. Which is not quite. Oh, so close. Such a pretty tree though. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. We also found this cool old farmhouse that is now kind of a clubhouse for a naturalist society. The only problem I can see with this place is there's too much to look at. <laughs> <laughs> We visited the brewery in town, which is in an old and very interesting building, full of much character. Cute. Oh, it's so fun in here! Yeah, you weren't lying when you were like, you're gonna love this place. Yeah. <laughs> so historical and cool. You like it? it? Yeah. <laughs> I do. Yeah, it's good. What kind of fish is this? Can you show it? I can't really see it from here. Oh yeah, it's called machias. That's what? the name of the fish. Oh, that's the name of the fish? Yeah. That's not just the kind of fish? Okay. Yeah, it's really good. Good. I thought you like it. Yeah. <laughs> The next day, I visited a really cool medieval village with Natalie's sister and her boyfriend. We were there more to do a couple session though than we were to film.
The village felt like we were in a Disney fairy tale, equipped with a blacksmith shop, a bubbling spring, and a graveyard which I was expecting to see witches pop out of at any second. Thanks so much for watching, liking, and subscribing, and commenting. Come back next week to see some of Poland and Lithuania.